Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy. Today I'm going to be talking about moving house. So I have some tips and tricks in terms of moving house. And I'm also in the move of our own house. I have watched so many YouTube videos on this. So look at this video as I have watched all the videos that you need to watch and all you need to do is watch this video. So let's get started. My first tip when it comes to moving house is to start to declutter the minute you make a decision that you might even move house. Literally, the minute you decide that there might be some sort of movement, start to declutter. Even if you're not, just, de go, just go declutter right now because I think we all need to declutter. Um, that's definitely something that I find with myself is sometimes I bring my clutter because I'm not ready to sort it out or to move it within the time of when we're moving because my headspace is totally different. Whereas when I'm in a place and I'm settled, I can declutter a lot easier. So when you make that decision of, mm, we might be moving, um, declutter, trust me, you will thank me for that one. So number two, I would say is to start to pack and clean as soon as you can. So the minute you find that, you know, I guess if I'm talking from the perspective of somebody moving into a rental accommodation because that's the situation that I'm in. But if you're talking about moving out into like a new build or a new house you've bought or you're like me and you rent, then all of this should be transferable. But just to kind of give you the heads up as to where I am coming from, we moved from a rental accommodation into a rental accommodation and that's what our situation is. So what I would say is from the minute you either get your keys or get a move in date from your new landlord, start to pack and start to clean. I'm gonna insert a clip here actually, because what I was gonna do, and like I did put a poll on my Instagram and people wanted to see a move kind of like vlog, um, and I was totally gonna do it. And I, you know, filmed a couple of clips and then I realized like, this is way too stressful. I am not filming this, this is way too stressful. So I will insert a clip here just to show you kind of where, what I was doing and what my headspace was at. Sorry, I ignored this, the head of me, but like, you know, when you're trying to do move and stuff, you're not gonna look good, simple as. Mike and I are moving. We are moving from a two bed apartment into another two bed apartment, which is actually perfect because the last time we moved, we moved from a four bedroom house into a two bed apartment and that move like I, I, I say it and I kind of laugh about it now but I nearly had a nervous breakdown. But Mike and I class ourselves as like very much minimalistic people. I'm not a big shopper of like buyer of clothes as you all know so I don't have a lot in that way. I have a lot of makeup that doesn't take up, up a whole lot of space thankfully but um, regardless of how minimalistic you think you are like, you know, when you move house, you realize that you're actually not, like, not at all. <laughs> um, so anyway, I just want to give you a quick little update as to where I'm at, what the story is. I have been looking at videos for the last week. Arm is hurting me now. I'm using my phone. Um, oh, there's the boxes. Um, I've been looking at videos on moving and on kind of cleaning and kind of doing everything as effectively and as efficiently as possible. And I'm hoping that this will help me. These are all our boxes. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, look, it, it, to be honest, right? This is kind of crazy. It's only Monday and um, these are our boxes. But these are things that like we can 100% do without until the weekend. It's totally fine. So we've got a couple of boxes and I've kind of put all of our books and stuff into a suitcase. So I'm really utilizing suitcases this time. That's one of ours. I got that off my sister. It's absolutely massive. And actually, this is an interesting one. I'm not going to open it because I've it all packed up. But I have all of our photo frames in here. And I have all of our towels and sheets around them as padding. So I didn't, like, I suppose I'm just really conscious of not using bubble wrap or any kind of crap like that that's non-recyclable. So that's what I kind of wanted to do. So I threw all of them in there. Now that's super heavy and super fragile. But it's packed with towels and with... um duvet covers and things like that as well so that's that i don't really even want to show you here but like this is where i'm at with the kitchen um but look what i've done because i need something to motivate myself i've put a little pink sticker on everywhere that is emptied and cleaned out so as you can see as much as the countertop is an absolute mess um i've a lot done there's a lot done so it's all like everything is cleaned out there's nothing i'm open and going hope there's nothing <laughs> so yeah there's loads there um yeah suitcases are so handy and that's one of the things that one of the videos i watched 
kind of said like use suitcases where possible which i would have done before for clothes but clothes what i'm doing is literally just hanging absolutely everything and tying it all together with um a cable tie like i've always done when i moved and then putting a bag around them and it's usually fine like that you don't have to take them off the hangers which is another job you don't have to do them when you move um and then again suitcases for putting all the stuff into it from the hot press and i then have a bag here for like things that i'm gonna put into the clothes bank so to be honest i'm fairly minimalistic when it comes to clothes like i said so a lot of my clothes i wear all the time constantly this hot water bottle can't go anywhere without that so yeah that is the story there's just do you know what it kills me about um moving it's just everywhere you turn there's just crap and everywhere just looks messy and dirty and that's just sometimes not good for my head but anyway like i say it's only monday let's see what the week brings hi guys so it's thursday tomorrow is moving day and look at the head of me like i'm absolutely exhausted so the two of us just come in from work and just like hacked away at getting stuff Kind of packed away and sorted and the man with the van person people i don't know if it's one or two people are coming at half nine in the morning and then it's just literally gonna be all go from there so um i'll just show you where we are at so i would have shown you this the other night but obviously we've added to that a lot you know what i always think we're minimalists but when we're moving house it really does not feel that way so we've that all sorted um yeah not much has changed here and mike is just getting out of the shower so i'm not don't want to go too far down the hall but um but yeah that's where we're at so yeah tomorrow is the day so as you'll see there i was in the thick of it uh not looking very attractive <laughs> and i was cleaning and i was packing and i got all of our kitchen cleaned the week before our move and that helped so much because it meant that we weren't coming back to the house to have to do a big deep clean i cleaned as i packed and yeah i would definitely recommend doing that the third point consider your packing how you are packing so what i did and what i took from other youtubers advice was used suitcases so we have a lot of suitcases and i borrowed suitcases from my parents and my sister and i used suitcases for so much stuff and it was brilliant we were moving probably like 30 minutes from you know between the two houses and it just meant that you could unload you could pack a suitcase and then you could unload it and bring it back and do it all over again it meant that you were minimizing your waste in terms of like boxes and things like that and they're on wheels so like it's super handy the majority of suitcases i hope these days are on wheels so it was really really handy and it just meant that like you could transfer things that were kind of maybe breakable that you didn't want to put into a box or things that were heavier that you didn't want to physically lift up and carry. So another part of point three is kind of considering your packing methods and what you're using. So what I did, and again, another tip that I got from another YouTuber was to use like your towels, your sheets, your hot press material, your scarves as packaging and as padding for your breakable. So the likes of your scarves, um, your towels, all those things that I've just named, popping them in around maybe your photo frames or any kind of glasses from the kitchen or mugs or things like that and packing them all into the one. That minimizes your use of bubble wrap. We did not use bubble wrap at all and we moved a whole house <laughs> into another whole house. We didn't use bubble wrap at all, which I'm really happy about. And we also minimized our use of cardboard by using the suitcases. So that's another really good consideration. Think of the environment when you're moving house, if you can. The fourth point that I would make would be to do your due diligence with the place that you're leaving so connect with your landlord when you're leaving and explain to them that you're going give your notice and also something that ha we had an issue with determine the length of time it's going to take for you to get your deposit back because often it can be hard to move if you're not going to get your deposit from your old place um you know in a timely manner let's say um so just kind of have that ironed out beforehand because that can be tricky when you've moved and you're like i'm waiting on all this money from my previous apartment so you know you're going to get your deposit back after the last inspection is it going to take a couple of days for a bank transfer iron all of that out before you leave my fifth point and this leads directly into an issue that we had when we moved into this new house check with your landlord your new landlord that your electricity is connected because that's what happened to us and we didn't have electricity for the first weekend so that hampered totally and completely hampered our move in and kind of our progress that weekend so make sure and check with them that you're connected that if you've gas that that's connected if you've oil whatever your fuel source is 
make sure that that's all up to date, that nobody's left like a bill unpaid, which means you're gonna be cut off, because uh, it's a pain, it's a complete and utter pain. So do your due diligence the other way around as well. Connect with them, maybe even a management company, sit down with them and say, what do we need? What's the story? Is everything okay? And have them do a check for you before you move into your new house. The last thing, and my camera battery is flashing, so this is perfect timing. <laughs> um, if you're moving in with somebody, maybe you've been for the first time, maybe you've moved loads of times, like myself, my husband have moved, I think four times together. Um, it's a stressful time so definitely be considerate of each other and just acknowledge that it's going to be stressful so just kind of say like look next week is going to be super stressful please don't mind me if I'm a little bit uptight or I'm a little bit wound up and um, communicate have that communication and that works wonders Mike and I actually had such a laugh the first weekend we moved not so much like the third and fourth because it took so long <laughs> but we had a laugh and we kind of like just respected that it was a, a very stressful time for both of us and each other and you know oftentimes I would take something when I knew Mike was a bit too stressed or vice versa mostly vice versa Mike just totally takes all my stresses away which is brilliant so I guess just have that consideration for the person that you're moving with as well because there's nothing worse than like button heads when you're trying to move house like it just no, it just doesn't work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some tips from this and do please like this video. It'll tell YouTube that you like my content and it'll give it to more people. Um, and if you have time as well, I'd love if you'd subscribe. So that is it. Thanks. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.